welcome back to Colette's Marine Tank. Um, today I'm doing a quick unboxing video on something that I've ordered. Now this is a very small little box as you can see. Um, it is not another coral. Um, right now I'm not ready to add another coral because I'm very limited to the space so I want to pick very carefully when I do pick my corals. Um, I think now I'm going to wait till Krakner um, at the beginning of October, which is um, based at Kraken Corals um, in Accrington. Um, so there is a lot of reefers that I know that are going there. Um, so it would be great to meet up with some of you guys. Um, if you do want to come along, it'd be great, like I said. Um, we're also heading through to Manchester afterwards to have some drinks, have some food. So that'll be lots of fun as well. Um, it's based over two days, it's the 2nd and the 3rd of October. Um, anyway, that to one side, um, going back to the unboxing video, um, I have ordered two, um, no I've ordered four, sorry, burger nudibranchs. Um, so the reason I've ordered these nudibranchs is because I have a huge infestation of Aptasia inside this tank. Um, so to get rid of it, there is lots of different options. You can buy a six line wrasse. Um, you can buy different wrasses, I know that. And one of them being a six line wrasse. The reason why I can't personally do that is because I have my feather duster worms and the Christmas tree worms. The worms themselves and the little feather dusters is what appeals the wrasse to wanting to eat these things. Same again with the copper bands, they also eat Aptasia um, or are known for eating Aptasia should I say um, and I can't have them because of the Christmas tree worms. Um, I've tried Aptasia X by Red Sea so many times, different ways, not working and everyone that I speak to now says the exact same. So. My next natural approach was to bring in some nudibranchs. I was a bit dubious of doing that because it's £54 for four and I also have a flasher wrasse inside this tank and the flasher wrasses tend to be known for eating nudibranchs. So it was a big decision to make because it could be £54 literally down the drain. But the only other method that I have and last thing that I can do um, as far as I'm aware and as far as the advice that's been given from Instagram and YouTube is to try these guys. So that was my last resort. So I've taken all the tape off and I've taken um, my dress off and this is what you can see. Um, it's a guy that I was recommended um, to buy from. I think his name is Andrus um, Meeksack. Um, he's not currently got any more new ranks available at this moment in time but you can go on a waiting list which is what I did um, so he's not on Instagram either so you have to go through Facebook if you want him so if anyone does want the link to his Facebook please let me know and I'll pass it on to you to go on a waiting list and um, the great thing about this is that he has given me some instructions step-by-step -step guideline of how to acclimate them um, also what they're there for, um, making sure that they're alive. Pretty much everything is on this little piece of paper. There's also a contact number and email address. They've also included a pet as well. So, here we go, the pet. Don't actually need that because I have set my little drip feeding acclimator up here. I'm gonna empty this water that I've just done into here so that this is ready now for me to acclimate. Please excuse my jump guard. My jump guard is like that because I have a fan on my tank, um, which is why I've not upgraded to getting an acrylic top because I use the fan every single day. This house is quite hot. Okay, let's see if these guys are alive for one and what they're up to. Okay, where are they? Oh my God, they are tiny. Did not expect them to be this small. Um, 
I'm not sure you're going to be able to see, yeah, kind of see them on camera. Well, they're really interesting to look at. So I can see, I can see a few on the top and then there's one down here at the bottom. Um, if I tilt ever so slightly, uh, maybe, you can see a few there. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this added to the water, sorry, the little Tupperware that I've got out. And then I'm going to add my water from my tank one drip second at a time. Um, when I've done this, we'll then be able to see them hopefully a little bit more. I'll come back to you. Okay guys, so I'm able to get quite a good um, capture of them within this little pot. I'm really sorry if it's not focusing properly. They are so cool. So quite a few of these little frills are, have come off as well within them. And these little frills are now wiggling. So I don't know if that's like babies. I do not have a clue, but it's really cool. Um, so yeah, so this is them. They have a lot of Aptasia to feed on in this tank. I'll just show you one, which is the biggest one that I've ever seen. It's got like an anemone um, stem at the back that is so big. Um, obviously I've not got my I've not got my filter on right now, my orange filter, to show you kind of my colours of my corals, but they are literally, at, there's Aptasia everywhere, all over my zoas. Um, oh, just on every single rock. I'm hoping that you can pick this up on the video, but literally everywhere you look. So these guys have got a big job on their hands. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I am literally so fascinated by these things. All these little frills that have come off them are all wiggling. I have to do some more research. I wonder if they turn into the bigger versions. I wonder if they're babies. Well, here you go, guys. This is what they look like. I'll get them inside the tank. Fingers crossed they make a start. Really like them though. I, I would rather them be really big and cool to look at in the tank, but apparently once you put them in, you never see them again. So yeah, wish me luck everyone. Take care. Thanks for watching. Let you all know, one of the instructions does say to sit the little tub of water inside the tank so that it can get up to temperature. That's one of the main things that the burgers need. Um, so, I hope I'm saying it right. I'm saying burger, but burgia is how they're said with nudie brank. I'm not sure. Anyway, here they are getting up to temperature, and then I'll show you a video after I've got them out and ready to pop them in the tank. Okay, so I've just turned all of my pumps off, and now let's get added. Apparently, the Aptasia can eat the the nudibranchs if they are added to their mouths with the Aptasia so you've got to be really careful when adding them. This tub doesn't really want to stay where it is. Now you're giving up a pet because you can shoot the the pet at the the water from the pet sorry at the nudibranch that will then lift the foot of the nudibranch up and then it can then flow out see these are the little frills that came off that were moving themselves i don't know if they'll stay alive or not but i'm gonna do that i'm gonna leave that there and i'm gonna let the nudibranchs get out when they want